In this video, we are going to begin our discussion on a section 11.3, not 11.1. Um, that should be fixed in your notes, but I forgot to fix this one. 11.3. Um, this is over something called the dot product. All right. So sections 11, in section 11.1 and 11.2, we talked about um, vectors and stuff we could do with these vectors. We added the vectors. We subtracted the vectors. Um, so the next natural question would be, what does multiplication look like for vectors? Um, the next thing I'm about to give you, I'm going to give it to you by a definition. This thing is extremely important, or will be. Um, today is going to feel like a silly game. It's going to feel like a, a real easy rule to follow. And there's real, there's no great um, like explanation. Like I could tell you that, you know, the derivative of a function is the slope, right? The integral of a function, I could talk about the area. The dot product, uh, I don't, uh, it just means it's an operation we use. So try not to wrap your head around what this means in general. We're just going to use it a lot um, and use its definition quite a bit. So let's take a look at our definitions here. We have a vector u. So the components u1 and u2. We also have v, which is v1 and v2. And to find the dot product, here's the dot product. That's how we note it. We put a dot in between. So uh, creative, right? <clears throat> and what we do is we multiply components together. So u1 gets multiplied with v1. That's what goes on here. u2 gets multiplied with v2. That goes here. And then we just add them together. That's it. That is the dot product. If I have three, then if you look, these are our ones being multiplied, our twos being multiplied, and our threes being multiplied. Then we add those together. So again, like I said, a real like, this is what this means is really not, achievable at the moment, um, but we, uh, we're going to use the dot product a lot, and you'll see why it's useful. There are a lot of good uses, just not a general, like, find the dot product, it means this. All right, so let's look at an example of this one. First one is very, very generic. Um, so we have A times B, and I just wanted to do this to show just simply what you do. A times B, so I got A1 times B1, whatever those are. Then I add it to A2 times B2, and then I add it to A3, B3. Really straightforward, really easy to follow. One thing I do want you to know is this gives us a scalar. It's actually sometimes called um, the scalar product. Um, I think I have that up here, and it's also called the inner product. We won't talk why the inner outer product, but the scalar product, the reason is, is because it gives me a number. If I take and multiply all those A's and B's and add them together, I'm going to get a single number, not a new vector. I'm just going to get a single number. All right, so let's take an example. Uh, that will be this video. We'll keep this short just as a reminder for dot products if you need it. We'll get into the heavier stuff here in a moment. All right, so we have a U and we have a B. And they want us to find the dot product. So U dotted with B. All right, and I take 2, and I multiply by its com other component, negative 1. I add it to negative 3 times 2. That's that component. And then I add that to 1 times negative 3. All right, and we get negative 2 minus 6 minus 3, and that gets me a negative 11. That's how you find a dot product. Like I said, dot products are going to be beyond useful for us. Just at the moment, there isn't a direct meaning of what the dot, pro dot product is. Oh, there is. It's just very fluffy and very difficult to explain. I would challenge you if you find yourself, I mean, you're taking Calc 3 in the summer, you're not going to have a lot of free time. Um, but if you find some free time for studying and you're just curious, I would look up a dot product meaning and try to grasp it as well as you can in your head. Um, if I try to explain it, it's very fluffy and it's not going to feel great. That's a, a, about everybody. The best approach I have found from some of the better talk teachers is we just be honest about it. We're going to use it a lot up front. doesn't really mean much. 